here hi guys so let's look at this question here this question says that uh, rupees 25872 is divided among p q and r such that p gets 3 fourth of q plus r and q gets 5 sixth of p plus r now p and q gives rupees x and rupees y respectively to r such that share of each becomes equal find the value of x plus y okay now a good application of ratios okay let's, let's see how to apply ratios here okay so uh it, it actually says that uh rupees amount is here rupees 25872 okay so rupees 25872 uh, and it divided among p q and r so can i write here can i write here that p upon p upon q plus r is equal to 3 by 4 as i can say that okay because p gets 3 fourth of q plus r so P upon Q plus R will be equal to 3 by 4. I can write this. Okay. Now, second part I can write here. Q gets 5 sixth of P plus R. So, I can also write uh, Q gets that is Q upon P plus R is equal to 5 by 6. Okay. It's like Q gets 5, say, 5 by 6 of P plus R. So, I can form this equation here that Q is equal to 5 by 6 of P plus R. Okay, so Q by P plus R equal to 5 by 6. Fine. Now, you got to always, so when you are working in ratio, so always try to observe, observe the numbers here. So, if P gets 3 rupees, then Q plus R gets 4 rupees. Yes, the total amount here becomes 7. Correct? If Q gets 5 rupees, then P plus R gets 6 rupees. The total amount here becomes 11. Right? But in both the cases, if I add Q plus P plus R or if I add P plus uh, P plus Q plus R, both are same things, right? That means adding numerator and denominator, sorry, adding numerator, numerator and denominator will give me the same value here. But that, this ratio doesn't show that. So I need to make this 7 and 11 same. What I'll do? I'll, I'll, make, their same, I'll make them same at their LCM. So 7 and 11 their LCM is 77. Okay. So multiply first one by 11 and multiply second one by 7. Right. So that what will happen now? So I can write, I can write that P upon Q plus R is equal to, uh, it should be when you multiply by 11, it becomes 33 by 44. Correct. And here again, Q upon P plus R, it also gets here. 5 and 6, right? So, you multiply with 7, it becomes 35 by 42. So, now the total amount is 77, right? So, now total amount here is, here also total amount 77 and here also total, total amount 77. As it should be, right? Because P plus Q plus R should be same amount in both the cases. Now, P and Q gives rupees X and rupees Y respectively to R such that the share of each becomes equal. Now, tell me guys, if P plus Q plus R if the share of all are equal at the end, that means if Q gets X rupees, P gets X rupees, R gets X rupees, the total should be 3X, right? Anna? So that means the total amount should be a multiple of 3. So you can get an idea from here that the total amount is still not a multiple of 3 here. Okay, so that means what I should do? should further multiply by 3. So these adjustments you need to keep on making ratios, right? I could have done here also into 3 into 3. But just to uh, make your thinking process clear, right? Just to enhance your thinking level that the, these adjustments you can make at any level, right? And you have to be ready for this actually. Okay. So that basically means that for me, for me, my final equation will see will be like this. Okay. So after all these concepts, once I know all these concepts, what I'll see. So I can just make this make like this guys. Okay. Uh, P plus Q plus R. Correct. So I'll make here the total amount I'll make is 77 into 3 is 231. So 231 is the total amount. Okay. Now P plus Q plus R. How much P gets here? 33 into 3. So P gets 99. How much Q gets in this? Uh, uh, 77. Uh, sorry. Q is 35. 35 into 3. So Q will get 105. Correct. And now R. how much R will get? So total amount is 231 
so r will get 27 so 99 105 and 27 right and now all are equal so quite simple because i have taken a multiple of 3 here so it's total, total 231 if all gets equal so 231 by 3 is equal to 77 that means i need to make each of them 77 how i should make each of them 77 i would subtract p i would subtract 22 from 2 that means p should give 22 to r Anna? so what is whatever subtracted is p that is given to r correct from q to make q 77 i need to subtract 28 so 28 subtracted here the 20 should be given so now if i've done every if we have done everything right so all p q and r should be same so make c now p is 77 q is 77 and r is also now 77 right so that that, that is the total meaning right so 231 is the total amount and this is what 77 each okay so now the uh, the question here was the total amount is 25872 okay so what you can see here guys so now just in ratios now so 231 units of ratio is equivalent to 25872 uh, okay it is 25872 so i can easily calculate from here that what is the value of one unit of this uh, uh, uh one unit for this right so 25872 divided by 231 what is the value so 25872 you can just cancel it out okay 25872 divided by 231 so i'll just cancel one time 27 then again 77 again one time uh, 46 is left and 2 so 112 okay that means the value of one unit is 112 if the value of one unit is equal to is equal to rupees 112 then what is the question here the question was uh, p has given uh, x and uh, q has given y to make to make share of r equal to them right so in that case the total amount is uh, given here is how much so p has given 22 and the q has given 28 so that means x is the value of tw uh, 22 is the value of x and uh, 20 is the value of y so x plus y will be equal to 50 units correct and one unit is 112 so 50 into rupees 112 so my answer will be uh, 50 into 112 will be equal to 5600 that's the answer Correct. So once you know all this concept, right? So now if you see such kind of question next time, see how fastly you should think, right? So now all these concepts I've explained all fine now. How you should think fastly, right? Understand this. See, just think that guys, we start here. So you know that P to Q plus 4 is 3 plus 4, 7. So total amount in first case is 7. Total amount in second case is 11. You need to make because here also by adding this, you get P plus Q plus R. And here also while adding this you get p plus q plus r that means total amount should be same so 7 and 11 their lcb 77 okay and i read that all of them are equal also that means it should be multiple of 3 also so multiply by 11 then multiply by 3 the total amount is 231 in that p will get 33 into 3 99 105 and r will get 27 okay now i need to make each because 231 is 77 into 3 correct so I need to make each of one, I make, need to make 77 for the share to be equal. So P will give, P has 99 right, tie right now, P will give 22, Q will give 28. Okay, so R will receive and all will be 77 now. So P has given 50 units, P and R has come, uh, sorry, P and Q has together given 50 units, 50 into rupees 112, rupees 5600 is the answer. Okay. Also, if anybody uh, wish to study live from me, okay, uh, because in LRDI we are covering 500 plus sets in the live classes and all recordings are available. In quant, we are covering 2000 plus questions, okay. So there's a new a new course here, so I'll take a small course in this, in this batch, I'll take, I'll take LRDI puzzles, okay, LRDI quant based puzzles in this and then you can continue with all my, when you go in my profile, so you can see the courses on LRDA part 1 
which was on different kinds of sets 50 sets around how to solve lengthy puzzles matrix based puzzles okay arrangement circular arrangement linear arrangement how do we solve in less time then we have got LRDI part 2 okay it's about maximum minima chocolate distribution Venn diagram games tournaments okay like that topic okay then comes part 3 and along with few DI so it this runs actually in 4 to 5 parts okay and we'll do around 500 plus sets in this that's a huge number right so uh, there's a small there's a batch in which I'll be taking LRDA quant based fellas it's from 31st of March you can join this batch also okay and then you can have access to all the previous recording once you once you join any batch you can have access to any recording any any number of times for any teacher okay thank you